Hi! And you're welcome. My name is Johnny Fergan. I'm from All Total Coaching. What I want to talk to you today, why it's so important to speak a second or third language, and why it's so important to learn how to dance. But before we start, we have a program on sale that I created, and thank you for your great feedback. How to be a man in this world, what your dad never taught you. We cover every part of masculinity that you've never been taught about, and you have no idea unless you touch it and read and get a program. We talk about what is a purpose, what is a man. We talk about money. We talk about relationships between men and other men and sex. We talk about how to overcome depression. We talk about value, what is value, how to acquire it, and mistakes that most people do. We talk about social media. We talk about where to invest. We talk about every aspect of masculinity that you've never been taught. And more than anything, at the end, we tell you and show you how to get what you really want. How to be happy. All for $89. You must try it for 30 days. If you don't like it, return it back to us. So today we're going to talk about two topics. Why it's so important to learn how to dance. And why it's so important to learn a second or third language. The more languages you speak, the more connections and neurons you create in your brains. I speak three, four languages. And you'd be surprised how many times when you speak a Latin language, for example, French, how many words are similar in other Latin languages, for example. La puerta in Spanish is la porte in French. La porte, la porte, la puerta. Una semana, una settimana, one week, un semaine. Una settimana in Italian, un semaine in French, un settimana, semana in Spanish. Many, many, many words are similar with an A or no. So once you speak either French or Portuguese or Spanish or Italian, you'd be amazed how many words you will learn that are similar between Italian, Spanish, Portuguese and French. You can only add to your life. Not to mention that for years, every time there was somebody speaking French or somebody didn't know how to speak English, guess who they called upon to talk? Me. Because I am the one, was one, the only one that spoke fluent French. Now I'm not here to tell anybody what language to learn, but I highly, if you want to ask my advice, I highly recommend to learn Spanish because there's so many South American countries. And believe me, because I speak French, that's how I learn Spanish. And because I know a lot of South Americans, I've learned by listening to them and watching some videos online more and more. Now I'm not saying I speak fluently, but I can get by and I can have at least basic conversations. And that helped me a lot when I was in Argentina, in Paraguay, and Brazil, and Chile. It doesn't mean you have to speak fluently, but at least you can be able to ask basic questions. Adonde, adonde el, 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 el train? Where's the train? Adonde, a que, a que hora? What's the time? As long as you can speak basic things, you can get by. Because a lot of people in this country don't speak any English whatsoever. Not to mention the neurons you're going to create. Not to mention the confidence it's going to give you by speaking another language. Next, we're going to talk about dancing. Dancing is being proven to make connections in the brain. And a lot of people that know how to dance, and I'll put a link below, the more they know how to dance, the less dementia they have. Yes, as you heard, this is not a statement coming from me. I actually read it. A great friend of mine, a lady that teaches me bachata, actually told me about this and I looked it up. And this is why I'm doing this video. It creates a lot of neurons in your head. And later on in life, it avoids a lot of problems a lot of people have, like dementia. I'll put links below. And that's why dancing, learning dancing is not only a fun activity. They will get you out of the out of the bad uh, mood you're in. You'll never see a dancer dancing in a bad mood. Most people in a bad mood are the ones who are leaning and not depressed. Every time somebody dances, in 99% of cases, they're in a good mood. Okay, that's why I highly recommend 
to learn dancing because not only it puts you into motion, and I mentioned this many, many times in my videos, it puts you into motion, it puts you in a good mood, not to mention you meet people and you don't see, you feel a drag stuck at home. And later on in life, it helps the neurons in the brains connect and it avoids all issues that people have older in life, later on in life. This is why I highly recommend to learn how to dance and I highly, 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 highly recommend to learn a second or third language. Thank you very much for, these, for this. At the same time, as I mentioned earlier, we created a program on men, how to be a man in this world and what your dad never taught you. We talk about every aspect of masculinity that you need to know. How to have sex properly, relationships, how to and, and become wealthy, how to overcome depression and fear that is a massive phenomenon today. Value, how to acquire value, how to meet the right people, how to make the right connections, how to avoid negative people, and how to grow yourself internally and externally. And last but not least, how to be happy. $89, links below. If you want to ask us any questions whatsoever, please email us at johnsosdanning.com or email us or look us up on www.altogrucoaching.com. I can change your life. The question is, do you want to? We're going to keep watching Kim Kardashian and waiting for somebody to save you. And we all know it's not going to happen. Thank you very much for listening. As always, you know who I am? I'm your friend, Charlie Friend.